Hello folks, it's Fujitoast here from AngerBirdsNest.com and I've got an awesome first look for you guys. This is Angry Birds Star Wars. We showed some artwork a while back, it's probably been a year plus, of uh, just some fans' renderings of what the Angry Birds Star Wars, uh, or what the Angry Birds characters would look like as Star Wars characters. And sure enough, it looked awesome. We even did some voting and it was some of the favorites, uh, favorite ideas of, of game uh, melds of sorts. And sure enough, Rovio got together with LucasArts and formed this awesome game. I'm excited to show it to you guys, so let's just get right into it. I'll show you a little bit more on uh, what's going on in the home screen, but I kind of want to get right into the gameplay so I can show you guys what's happening, how cool it is. I haven't played the whole game yet, but uh, there's still plenty to love and um, plenty to show you. Alright, we'll just start out at the, uh, the first level so I can show you guys the general. When you start out gameplay, you've got little Luke here as the red bird. Uh, and also what's kind of nice is, unlike the other um, Angry Birds games that are on this flat level, i.e. not like space, um, you've got the, the arc here. I don't know if, yeah, this arc right here. So it's kind of neat to have that. Helps you pinpoint things a little bit better. But you notice a lot of the blocks are almost two pieces. They, they've got like kind of a metal structure underneath them as you can see right here. There's kind of a, a metal structure behind the uh, the wooden blocks. You'll see that in a lot of the blocks. Um, I don't know if that's just to make things a little bit stronger or what, but um, just a different little aspect of it. Just something I thought I'd point out. Um, like I said, you don't start out with the lightsaber, but in chapter 9 I believe it is, or I'm sorry, not chapter 9, uh, level 9, is when you first get your lightsaber. So we'll pop into that one really quick. And for this lightsaber, you basically just tap right before you hit something, and you can even tap on it after you've, like just barely after you've hit it. You can do that too, unlike some of the other ones where as soon as you hit something, your pow special power is gone. But he whips out his lightsaber and then he continues through it. And it's quite cool. It gives the red bird a little bit more powers. Um, obviously, I didn't want Luke to be the, the kind of weakling that, honestly, the, the original Red Bird is in the other games. So that's a, a fun little feature. Uh, we've also got Obi-Wan Kenobi that I've unlocked as well. Let's see if I can remember what a level that he's in. I'd imagine he's probably in this level. There he is. Yep, this little guy is Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's in the Blackbird form. He does kind of a, a push of sorts, say a, a force push. So you tap in the direction you want it to go and he pushes out that way. So he uses his force and shoves everything over. Very fun little character addition. So obviously the pigs are different enemies that are uh, that you'd find throughout the Star Wars movies. And the, and the game does kind of take a um, the same order, the same chron chronological order uh, that the that the movies do. So that's kind of fun. I like that quite a bit. Um, so we've started out with Tatooine. We're going to have Death Star shortly. I believe you enter the Death Star um, after... boy, I, I can't remember exactly where I entered in the Death Star. It was uh, level 211, I believe. Um, this Path of the Jedi is another level that you can purchase, or another chapter you can purchase. It's it's a very you know it's very similar to the movie itself um, in that you're you're on um, you know I actually don't remember the name of the planet, but uh, when Luke crashes and he he gets to, he meets Yoda and, and that sort of thing. So when so you can see Yoda at the bottom, he's at the bottom of quite a few of them. But it seems that a lot of I don't know if you'll see this later in the other levels, but it's definitely on these. Or if you hit the pig that is green, then everything that is being held up by him drops. So it's kind of cool and, and added a little feature. Um, I want to pass this level so I can show you guys a, an awesome transition that um, obviously it tells you that Rovio put some thought into it. Looks like I didn't pass it though. I'll go to a different one. Oh, there you go. That, that's what I wanted to show you right there. That that level transition where it wipes up and down. That's a, a very classic Star Wars transition. So it was just that that level of detail that that Rovio uh, put into this game. So I think it's an, an awful lot of fun. Uh, let's go back a little bit. I'll show you guys the eggs. 
Uh, these are the, the bonus levels. Uh, these will unlock by how many stars that that you unlock. So as you unlock the, or as you pass the levels and get more and more stars, these levels will slowly un unlock. Uh, excuse me, level one um, unlocks with just ten levels. So that's this one right here, or ten stars, sorry. And um, uh, level two unlocks with seventy. So you can see seventy right here, one thirty, one ninety, two fifty, three ten. So those will unlock as you as you progress through the game. And these right here are the, um, we're not, not, not exactly sure what to call them yet, but I think we're going to call them um, the, the droid specialty levels, or, or, or droid bonus, or droid egg. I'm not really sure yet. We'll figure it out. But that's essentially what they are. Uh, they're like golden eggs in the previous games. Um, I can show you where one of them is at. So if you don't want spoilers, ignore this right now. It is on level 1-9, right here. just want to show you guys what it looks like. So if I zoom out on this one, I thought it was on this one. I'm sorry, it's 113. My apologies. Here we go. So there you may have seen it just really quick, but here he is right up here. So I'll circle him right there. So you're looking for little, we thought they were going to be kind of CPO, C3PO droids, but instead they just look to be kind of general droids. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Um, those who are maybe even more familiar with the with Star Wars genre might be able to help me out more. I'm, I'm a huge fan, but I'm not. There's there's a lot to know about Star Wars, so I'm not going to pretend to be one of those that knows all. So um, that's kind of the, the basic game, the basic gameplay. There's going to be a whole bunch of characters to unlock. Um, that's what this little bird right here is. This is kind of your character map of sorts. Um, as soon as you you see unlock the character in the game or you see him um, see it in a level that's when they'll show up on this little thing right here this character map of sorts we've got uh, the shopping cart that's where you would purchase your uh, Millennium Falcons and uh, also the the Path of the Jedi chapter um, actually I should go and show you guys before we leave the, the Millennium Falcon uh, it's very much like the Mighty Eagle and all of the other episodes, or all of the other games. Um, you can earn them you know, throughout the game, or else you can purchase them like I just showed you. Uh, but uh, it's quite similar. You just throw the egg right over towards where you want it, tap somewhere on the screen, and wherever it's at, it kind of gives the Millennium Falcon an area where he starts shooting away, kind of destroying the level. So hopefully on this one I'll get the the Falcon 100%. So it adds it up. There we go. So then you get the little medal there. Um, adds to your your collection. You see right here the medals show up right next to my dot there. So yeah, but like I said, um, more like sp it's more like space in that you do have to purchase the Millennium Falcon. So you don't have an an unlimited amount. Um, kind of a little unfortunate, I do prefer when you just pay the one-time fee and you get a whole bunch of them, but I understand they have to make money too. Uh, you've still got your, um, your achievements right here and your, uh, your leaderboards. You can go back through your movies. The movies are really cool. They did a fantastic job. The artwork is just absolutely beautiful. Um, redo your purchases right here. Info on the game. Sound control. This is a new one that's, uh, that at least I haven't seen it in any of the Rovio games, but it's a little keyboard that lets you um, enter in an unlock code. So I don't know if maybe they're going to have some free giveaways, maybe maybe they're going to sell some Star Wars um, Angry Birds merchandise where if you buy a, a stuffed um, a stuffed Angry Bird, they'll give you a code to unlock a level or something like that. You know, I, I can't say for sure, but obviously they've got something planned. So, well that's Angry Birds Star Wars right there. Uh, it's an It's an awesome game. I'm really enjoying it right now. And I can't wait to get back to playing it more, so that's why I'm going to let you guys go so I can do just that. So, you guys have a fantastic day, enjoy the game, and have fun, guys. Bye-bye.